Leading up to No Way Home, I review it at the very least on Monday because right now on Sunday, I'm actually going to watch it due to the fact that I, there's constant, <clears throat> constant plan changing. Like today, I was actually going to do my Spider-Man No Way Home review, but now because the plans have changed, I have to do a different one. Now, I decided to do more versus battles because I have not done them at, like really long, so this time we have... The Rhino, no, versus Atrocitus, the Red Lantern. Who wins? Well, let's find out. Now, who's stronger? Rhino, no, while Rhino's horns have been able to harm Hulk or bring down heavy metal with single charges, <clears throat> Atrocitus is, however, the more, the stronger one out of the two. I mean, even without the ring, he's in, he's strong enough to break out of Sinatra's construct and his chains. Which is something that I don't even know a rhino could do. <clears throat> and that's why Atrocitus has is stronger and definitely the more durable one of the two. I mean Spider-Man, <clears throat> he has consistently defeated um, Rhino in the comics over the years. Um, where with uh, only a few times, I mean, Luke Cage, who is nowhere near as strong as Spider-Man, or at least an over on par with Spider-Man, <clears throat> has been able to punch him in the face. And... Now you could say what well, I mean, Hulk. When Rhino fights Hulk, um, <clears throat> Hulk attacks Rhino pretty easily, but that's something called PIS or plot induced stupidity. <clears throat> um, Rhino being able to survive a punches from the Hulk makes literally no sense. Because if he can't take a punch from Luke Cage or Spider-Man, guys who are nowhere near as strong as the Hulk, then there's no way Hulk should even have a problem with him. Whereas Atrocitus can go up against countless Green Lanterns and still survive. Now, in terms of speed... He won't be. Obviously, he is the Red Lantern himself, Atrocitus. I mean, Rhino, well, he was able to prove Silver Sable about being faster. Stir and actually has tag Silver Sable and Silver Surfer. Those are PIS. Again, Spider Man has consistently dodged Rhino, and Rhino has. Hardly ever, hardly ever had to tag Spider-Man. <clears throat> Whereas Atrocitus can typically hold his own against Green Lantern, and he can even hold his own against the, against like the Justice League members, like Superman. Atrocitus is also the best, the smarter one out of the two. Rhino is generally not that intelligent. Which, you ask me, does not make sense. Meaning, Atrocitus can even outsmart the Rhino with just a maneuver or an attack. Atrocitus is I now Rhino does have one advantage and that is he is at least a better fighter. These two are very very good fighters and we're nowhere near gonna be the best in terms of skills, but if I had to choose who is the most skilled out of these two, well I, I have to go with Rhino. He generally goes up against more skilled opponents, uh, where Atrocitus 
rarely or never rare, never goes up against someone like Green Arrow. Rhino definitely has gone up against people like Green Arrow, so at least there's that for Rhino. <clears throat> Rhino is ju just has no advantages in this fight. Sorry, I'm very sick. Um, Rhino just... No way around it. Is gonna lose this fight. Trost is just too powerful. Too strong. Too durable. Too fast. Too smart. Trost is what's... But what do y'all think? I would love to hear your thoughts on it in the comments. Please like this video, share this video, and hit that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.